24 hours, Emma's starting the day with a delay. I'm sorry to tell you, we're going to have to wait for an engineer to come and visit the aircraft this morning. If I could just ask for your patience um, with that. But veteran Emma has a trick up her sleeve to distract the passengers. Perhaps come and visit us in the flight deck if you would like to. And then we can... Josh, nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Do you want me to take a picture? Is that OK, please? Yeah. Oh, is the engineer here? Hello, how are you doing? Hello. In the meantime, I'm going to try and keep the passengers as safe as I can. There you go for Girls Weekend away. Yeah, yeah. Like, should I warn Peasy you're coming? <laughs> yeah, <Should> right. I... <laughs> At last, they can now work out where they're going. Ladies and gentlemen, I have good news for you. The um, database has now been updated. I'm very sorry for the delay. It's been really lovely to come and speak to some of you. So thank you for being so patient and being such lovely passengers. Oof. And breathe. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Absolutely fine. It's just about typical, isn't it? <laughs> so um, I can't believe that happened. Over an hour behind schedule, Gatwick gives clearance. Take off. Check. And Captain Emma takes off. 400 knots. Check. Into some rather ominous looking skies. EA7 Golf Alpha 160 knots to 40 MA. Put some very repellent on. Oh. Works really well. Oh wow, look at that. Newbie Josh has squirted the windscreen with moisture repellent. We've never used it before. Oh, there we go. First time for everything. But before he has a chance to try out the other buttons. Severe turbulence forecast west of the line. An hour into the flight, they hit the turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain speaking. I have put the seatbelt signs on for now because uh, um, aircraft ahead have reported uh, just the turbulence. So it would be safer for you to be sitting down with your seatbelt fastened. But obviously, please make sure that you are safe at all times. Thank you for your patience. And uh, I will speak to you again later. <laughs> Every year, millions of flights are affected by turbulence. Causing a hundred injuries to passengers worldwide, mainly to the head and neck. And it always pays to come prepared for all eventualities. Takes the edge off it. <laughs> Hold on to your glasses. 150 mile an hour winds are now hammering the Airbus. Can we take your seats immediately, please? <laughs> To avoid the worst bumps, Emma must increase the thrust so the plane can climb above the turbulence. So we're looking for 81 on the thrust if we need to disconnect it. Yeah. This is a nice nice. Maybe what that could be. I don't like it. It must have been this turbulence. It's quite bad, isn't it? It is quite bad, seriously. Then, at last... It's really stable at the moment. There we go. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. After an hour's delay and having ridden out the turbulence, veteran Captain Emma can finally relax. These are amateurs. <laughs> and focus on briefing young Josh on what not to say to air traffic control. Going into Amsterdam yesterday, we had to do it orally. Orally, and yeah. And then every time I said that, I just... I eventually, I smirked. Why? I'll tell you later. Oh, OK. <laughs> hmm, probably best you don't. Lovely landing, Josh. Thank you. Lovely landing. Uh-oh, what 
with a message saying... <laughs> 1,600 miles away, and now approaching Jordan, Iris and Gurav have just received an alert from EasyJet Control Center. For your information, a station manager advises that they intend to provide a water cannon salute as you taxi on to stands. Woohoo! I never had one, have you? No, no, never. Oh, my goodness. This salute is a coveted celebration used whenever there is an important airport event. Hello. We're getting a water cannon salute. We're going on stand. It's my first one. It's Finally, first one well, yeah. some acknowledgement. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. little bit. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Maybe they can also throw glitter. Yeah. To get some. I love some glitter. Flight EZY eight seven three one is now just forty minutes from touchdown. But before they land, there's still one really important thing they need to agree upon. Did you guys listen to my PA at all? Yes. Do you think I pronounced Akaba right? Um, Akaba. Yeah, did I say Akaba or did I say Akaba? Yeah, but what is it? Is it Akaba? I'm not Mo sure. Says, Mo says it's Akaba. Yeah. Akaba. 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 Okay, I'll try and be I'll more. Just, I'll just say it really quickly. Yeah. Akaba. 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 But you can go Akaba if you want. A carver. <laughs> uh, it's like Ocado. You don't say Ocado, you say Ocado. Yeah, Ocado. So it's a carver. A carver, yeah. A carver, yeah. Oh, they're never going to get it. It's Akaba. Akaba. Thank you. Cheers. Are you not having another hot drink? I'm not as demanding as you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I will have another Wait hot till drink. Wait till you get in this seat, then you'll you. be demanding also. Oh, yes. Our egos grow. How's your ego? <laughs> You have to tell me. I've seen words. OK. Not quite the answer Gaurav was hoping for. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard, retard. Made it. Finally, the plane is back on firm ground and without a landmine in sight. Dry country, isn't it? Yeah, about to get much wetter. Oh, everyone's taking pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, there it is. Oh. Oh. It's like being in the car wash. <laughs> After a long five and a half hour flight, the passengers are desperate to get off the plane and the crew are ready for a break. Yay, we're here. We did it. We did it. Well done. But no rest for the wicked. They've just found out there's a welcoming party of local dignitaries waiting to meet them. What's your request for assistance? <laughs> the welcome has been planned with every attention to detail except one. Where? Do you have any oh no, no complaint. Just, uh, just informing you. Of what he's thinking he's thinking about making understand. a complaint. Be ready for start up and be ready for okay. Clearly not here. Ladies and gentlemen, the airport authorities have asked us to move the aircraft from here. So please do take your seats. We will be putting the seatbelt signs back on. Oh look! Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Oh, look at him run. Watch him run there. Aww. Look, he's like, I'm running, I'm coming. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm too old for this. He probably is. While the passengers can finally enjoy their holiday... See you guys. <laughs> bye bye, you. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Poor old Iris and Gurav still have to engage in a little international diplomacy. I'm the Commissioner for Tourism and Economic Development in Aqaba, in Assisa. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. I think it's quite an honour to do an inaugural flight. Do you feel quite special? <laughs> More special than you did at the beginning of the day, I think. <laughs> there were all these important people who were handed gifts, sea salts. So, um, yeah, I used them. <laughs> I don't think we'll have such enthusiastic people waiting for us in Gatwick. Everyone would just want to get off and home. There's just another five and a half hours of flying before Iris and Gurav can finally clock off. Tomorrow's another day, I think. On the other side of the Mediterranean, in Pisa, 
Captain Emma is also looking forward to getting home. But surprise, surprise, they're already behind schedule. We've tried to make up some time on the way in here, and we will try and make some time on the way back to Gatwick as well. And things are only going to get worse. Captain Emma's been called from the flight deck to deal with an urgent problem. On the ground in Pisa, northern Italy, Captain Emma Henderson's on the second day of her long shift, which until now has been plagued by delay after delay after delay. Um, is our flight plan still valid? We need to know. I'll just ask them. Fifteen minutes behind schedule, Emma's keen to get back on track and home on time. I've got a hot tub on my deck in, back in Scotland and I'll be going in that tonight when I get home. I do like to go and sit and wallow in my hot tub at night, so, and I'm not even ashamed to admit that. <laughs> They're flying back to Gatwick before travelling on to Inverness, where Emma's hot tub awaits. It is busy, busy, yeah, absolutely. EasyJet allows 30 minutes to turn flights around. Part of the team, aren't we? Yes, we are. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's all righty. Today, they've done it in just seven and have got themselves back on schedule. Yeah, I know. They're actually it's like a stampede, wouldn't they? Hilarious. But as the 162 passengers board the plane, <coughs> Captain Emma's been called.